Hello, this is a demonstration of the Applicant Extra Candidate Adding Facility that we have uh, on the system. Um, first of all, you go to Adding a Candidate, click Add Candidate. Then from there, we can we have choices of various different features, but the one we're most interested in is the automatic method. Let's click that. Um, so we would have already, at this stage, added a CV to our desktop. So um, in here, I've added two folders, unprocessed and processed CVs. Um, this is what you would use inside of here. You would add your um, CVs, dump, dump your CVs straight from Outlook as you were receiving them so that you can quickly process them um, inside of Applicant Extra. Now let's go back to the system. Right, so let's browse for that CV first of all. So if I go to my desktop and I go to my unprocessed CVs and there is my CV that I want to upload for this demonstration. And you can see by the tick box it defaults to sending this CV to the private CV area because most of the time you, these CVs will have uh, be the original CVs from the candidate that will have um, contact information on that you will not want your clients to see no doubt. So usually keep this feature uh, in, in place so that you can um, then add the public CV later on. Right, so if we submit this, what happens now is that Applicant Extra will go through and check the CV for the, n the name of the CV and it will make sure that that CV doesn't already exist on the system. In this case, we already have a Marissa Tomei in the system and it's saying, would you like to update this record? Uh, so you can tick that person and then click update record and that all of the things we do from then on will uh, go against that person's record. But in this case, we want to create a new one. So let's click create a uh, new candidate anyway. So inside of here, we um, ha are have various parts of various tabs that represent the candidate's record. We've got the address section, um, current employment, previous employment, right back as, m as many as they can find, Edu any previous education that may be in the CV, it will put that in there as well. And there's also um, some uh, notes boxes that you can manually add information to whilst you have the CV open. Now, the, one, the place it defaults you to is the skills section, attributes and skills. So inside of here, it has looked at your your existing skills database, which you can set up and administer any time you want, um, and it tries to find matches inside of the CV, and then suggests those as as uh, skills matches here. So in this case, it's found promotional work, uh, service advisor, customer service, and so on, um, and it's attached them as uh, skills. Now, if it's got it out of context and it's not relevant to you in this case because it, it, it is basically a skills uh, keyword match um, you can just click X to get rid of it um, so in this case perhaps per, um, promotional work might not be appropriate so we uh, click X and we will it won't show up there and it won't be added to that candidate's record when we, when we apply them now um, if it hasn't found words that you want it to find um, for instance if uh, let's have a look in this database here. Um, general admin duties may be a something that you want it to find and add as a skill. Let's go in. Let's highlight that and right click. Now um, we've got the option of either adding that as a skill, or we can, from this point forward, add a different way of doing things. We can add it as an alias to an existing skill. So let's see if this general admin duties is something that could be a skill somewhere else. Um, let's have a look. Um, secretarial perhaps? Yes, we've got secretarial down here as a skill. So we can add that, see if that could be something that could be also called secretarial and admin duties. So whenever it finds um, general admin duties, it will put sec secretarial up here as a skill. So you've created and trained the database to recognize one word to be the same as another skill. And you can do that as many times as you'd like to create uh, a, a relationship between lots of different words and a particular skill. So also you can create new skills directly from the database. So let's um, do that now. Let's go to administrator. Perhaps we want administrator to be a new skill right click on highlight and right click add to skills now this opens up the skill adding dialog box which allows us to then 
with administrator pre-filled allows us to then select a level of attainment in that soon there will be the option of not having a, a level of attainment as well which is coming very soon um, so from inside of here we can say right competence is a level of attainment which in, in which incidentally has beginner intermediate and advanced as the options inside of it let's click that and click add now try and keep your skills adding as general as possible so that you can then build up a, dic a, a dictionary of other ways of saying that skill. We don't want to clutter up your database, your core skills, with lots and lots of different ways of saying the same thing. You just want one master skill and then a whole load of alias skills that, you won't, that are behind the scenes that you never really see but the database knows about. So, if, uh, that, so that's a good idea of a way of doing things. So also that would happen for qualifications and very soon we will be having roles and locations added to this, these tabs as well. So now we go through and look at address. Let's have a look and see if it's found the right address information. If it hasn't then we can highlight particular things. For instance it hasn't found the street properly. In this case I can highlight street, right click and put it to address 1. And then I can take Kensington, right click and put it to address 2 and it's found London and so on so that everything else is good and it's found my mobile number and home number and that's all great so the next thing to do is to check current employment now it's found the let's go into current employment found the right bar it's found uh, some information here sometimes it puts the date in when it shouldn't when it's already in it uh, found it up in start and end date so we might want to get rid of that um, now, uh, let's see if uh, previous employment is found OK, and then have a look at a few other things, just to make sure. And then once you're happy, it's found everything correctly, click Apply Attributes. That will go off and save each of those tabs, create a record, and then put you into that record, as we can see here. Then we can uh, have a quick look around. There's the attributes it found, the skills. Um, here's the history it found previous employment, education, we can have a look at the text version of the private CV that it uploaded. Um, we can now upload a public CV. Now, um, all I've done actually is to create, inside of our unprocessed CVs, is to take this CV and strip it down and, and, and save it as a, 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 as, a, as a pared down version of the original. So let's go and click upload click this is the green cv area is the pro public cv area click upload new document browse and upload and now we have both a public cv and a private cv which you can view at any time by just clicking on this icon that is a brief demonstration of how to quickly and easily add a candidate hope you liked it thank you very much